Today, I'm going to be talking about this terrible, disturbing story of this terrible tragedy that happened with a young lady that goes by the name of Sade Robinson, who's 19 years old, and a dude who goes by the name of Maxwell Anderson, who's 33 years old, who went on a date in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and things quickly went left and sick. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into the story and I'm going to get my thoughts on it. Let's go. Let's a big story tonight at five. A person of interest is now an accused killer. 33-year-old Maxwell Anderson is charged in the death of 19-year-old Shadé Robinson. Fox 6's Durante Matthews was in the courtroom today and joins us live now to break down what happened. Yeah, and Brian Steph, it was a really difficult experience for Shade Robinson's family today, having to sit there in the courtroom and listen to all the gruesome details surrounding her death. And now that they say that Anderson is charged, they now want a conviction. This sick son of a is gonna pay. Barely speaking above a whisper. This is justice for Shade. And fighting back tears. Who the f would do something like this to my beautiful baby? Sheena Scarborough. She hurt nobody. Was pushing forward for her daughter, 19 year old Shade Robinson. Friday, Robinson's family sat in court and heard the grim details surrounding her death while staring at the man accused of taking her life, 33 year old Maxwell Anderson. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. Um, it was the highest level of violence imaginable. Prosecutors say Anderson and Robinson were going on a date Monday evening on April 1st. The state says they went back to Anderson's Southside apartment around 9 o'clock, where they say he killed her between then and early Tuesday morning. They say he then dismembered her body and scattered pieces around the county. The defendant did a tremendous amount of work to try to cover up the crime, including lighting Miss Robinson's vehicle on fire. Last week, police found and connected a severed human leg in Cudahy and a foot in Milwaukee to Robinson. After text messages and witness statements linked the two together, Anderson was arrested April 4th during a traffic stop. He's now charged with first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and arson. Sade was more than a person. She was an angel. Not having her right now is very painful. Family says the entire timeline has them shaken. Imagine trying to bury your niece with nobody for the service. I need justice for Sade. And they want the person responsible to pay. And Anderson's attorney also tried to get that first degree intentional homicide charge dismissed, saying there wasn't enough evidence to prove it, but that was dismissed. And he's in jail tonight on a $5 million cash bond. That is, his attorney also tried to get reduced to $500,000, and that request was also dismissed. He's due back in court April 22nd. Live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Durante Matthews, Fox 6 News. All right, Durante, thank you for that. The top cops from both the City of Milwaukee Police Department and the County Sheriff's Office say it took a lot of cooperation from multiple agencies to work on this investigation. More than a dozen agencies, local, state, and federal, are all working on this investigation. Milwaukee County Sheriff Danita Ball and Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman both spoke today. They both offered their condolences to the family of Robinson, and they said they are working to get justice for them. At this time, we don't believe that there are any other victims out there and that the person who uh, is responsible for this heinous crime has been arrested. That's crazy. That's very unfortunate. And whether it's dating apps, ladies, whether you approach, I can see a lot of times how women are skeptical about going on dates with certain dudes. But I know that the whole thing about the whole zaddy situation, this young lady, 19, going out on a date with a guy that's much older than her, 33 years old. And on the first date, he does this. So this is definitely one of those things that they're going to look into. Now, this young lady, Sade, she was a beloved young lady. She was actually just about to graduate with her associate's degree from a community college. And I think her mom said that she was planning on joining the military and the Air Force. Her father is down in Florida. So she actually decided to stay with her mother up there in Milwaukee and go out on dates. She worked at a pizza place, Pizza Shuttle, and everybody had nothing but great things to say about her. And this whole situation, she goes on a date with this dude. And a lot of people were talking about Zaddy and things like that who seemed to be a normal dude. She trusted him enough to go home with the guy. They got footage of all this. He was talking to the bartender saying this is his first date. They had drinks, food, and she went to his apartment where basically things went left. Maybe he tried to get the buns. Maybe he got the buns. Maybe he tried to do the R word and it didn't work out. And then he decided to do the ultimate and take her out. 
And not only that, a lot of these guys be seeing crime shows. And when it comes to forensics and things like that, you're not always going to get away with stuff. I just don't understand why a lot of y'all dudes just don't pay for buns. Just pay for buns if you plan on going that far. It doesn't make any sense why you would go this far. So he had this supposed sex dungeon in the basement. They did the investigation. They found traces of blood leading down to the basement where he dismembered her body into pieces. And the fact that you spreading them out, which I don't, I get it instead of just burying in one place, but you guys be spreading them out, doing all this crazy stuff. And within days by a golf course, which is what kicked it off, someone called 911 and they found her severed leg by that golf course, which obviously detectives find police work, find detective work, discovered that she was in communication. She also told people she was on Snapchat, telling them she was going on a date. The guy's name, which is very important, which I don't understand why a lot of times, guys, unless you're lying about your name, why you would even do something like this. And ladies, you need to do in your investigation, asking the guy his name, all these things, especially if you're going over to his place. He was quickly determined to be the last person that she was seen with. I just don't understand that, why you guys do stuff like this. And he's arrested quickly on a traffic stop booked five million dollars they wanted to drop the first degree murder the disturbing or tampering with a corpse all these things like that he set the car on fire to try and get rid of forensic evidence all these different things bro it's not worth it 33 years old whether you're in your 20s there's so many women out here but you targeted this woman maybe thought you were going to get away with it but i'm glad this whole forensics don't think that when it comes to color a lot of times people trying to solve a case they don't care about whether you're white when it comes to these murders. Now, when we talk about other things, police, police shootings and things like that, that's different. But when it actually comes to the science of forensics and trying to figure stuff out, oh, they going in. They going to catch you regardless of your skin color because that's like solving a puzzle. It's completely different now. It doesn't matter. And if it turns out you're white, you're a politician, you're a high value man. You're going down because it just forensics. You can't hide it at the end of the day. And buddy just did this. This is just crazy, man, that somebody would actually go that far. And I'm glad he got caught within days. Five million dollar bond. They're trying to get it reduced to half a million. Bro, it makes you think sometimes. And I cover a lot of stories about true crime. But bro, what is going on in your mind to say other than a woman not giving you some buns? Or you feeling like you're that powerful that you have to do this to a woman, especially a young lady? This young lady had friends. You don't think that they, they don't think that she just disappeared? Nah. People gonna put in work and try to find out. That's the beauty of the police force at the end of the day when people do stupid stuff like this. That you're solved, you're found out, and they gonna put your ass in jail. And hopefully this dude gets the death penalty for doing something so heinous, dismembering the body. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this? Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next videos that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. Listen, it's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. Let's run it up to 200,000. Quit playing with me. Peace.